Some burned investors in bankrupt energy giant Enron may have a little bit more to be upset about today. A shortened prison sentence for its jailed one-time chief executive, Jeffrey Skilling. Scott Cohn was in the courtroom for this controversial decision today, and he joins us live from Houston. So, Scott, why the more lenient resentencing, and perhaps more importantly, why right now? Well, in a sense, Sue, it makes sense for a guy who was in charge of an energy trading company. This was basically a trade-off. A federal appeals court had already said that the original sentence, 24 years, was too harsh. They said it should be more like 15 or 16 years. Skilling wasn't willing to settle for that initially. He was going to charge that the government had committed misconduct in prosecuting the case. That would have dragged it all out for a whole lot longer. So ultimately, the government and Skilling came to this agreement where Skilling would drop all of his remaining appeals. $40 million would be returned to the investors. The convictions would stand, but he would get out of prison early. Basically, 14 years with time out for good behavior, he'll be out in about 11 or in 2017. Give us a sense, Scott, if you would, of the atmosphere in the courtroom today. And how did Skilling look? You've, you've been working this story for years. Skilling is 59 years old, and he looks every bit of that. He's grown a beard since he's been in prison. Um, you know, he looks like he's aged somewhat. He was in prison garb, uh, in handcuffs initially, then they took them off. The courtroom was packed with Skilling supporters. The judge said that 200 people had written in support of Jeff Skilling. Among the people in the courtroom, Skilling's family, his wife, Rebecca, uh, members of Ken Lay's family. Remember, Ken Lay passed away in 2006, shortly after he was convicted. Then those convictions wiped out. One victim spoke for uh, th those who were victimized by the scandal, Diana Peters, a former Enron employee, who said that Skilling betrayed the employee's trust. Talk more about that, Scott. What exactly does this mean for Enron's victims? Well, for one thing, they will get this $40 million that's been sort of held in escrow since the trial in 2006. All of that money will go to the victims. Now, that's a pittance in terms of the $60 billion or so that was lost. And there have been some big settlements on the order of about $7 billion, mainly with some of the banks that were involved. But they will get some money back. And that's something that the Justice Department is emphasizing in all of this, that they didn't come down that much from what the appeals court wanted. People will get their money back. And most important, they say, skilling will not be able to challenge. His convictions. Scott Cohn, an honorary citizen of Houston, after all the time you spent down there. Scott, have a good weekend. <laughs>